Okay, this is a response to Sushi Cat New York about food addiction and um, I believe that food is definitely a real addiction. Um, and to me, and, and as a person who has um, had other addictions in the past, this is the hardest one. Um, it's not impossible, but it's harder for me because it's not something that you can give up cold turkey. I mean, you know, I was able to just stop smoking cigarettes. I don't have to have cigarettes to live. I was able to stop using drugs. I don't have to use drugs to live. Um, <clears throat> but food is a requirement to survive. And um, just an addiction, I'm reading from Wikipedia. Um, the term addiction is used in many contexts to describe an obsession, compulsion, or excessive physiological dependence such as drug addiction, video game addiction, crime, money, alcoholism, work addiction, compulsive overeating, problem gambling, computer addiction, pornography addiction, plastic surgery addiction, etc. In medical terminology, an addiction is a state in which the body depends on the substance for normal functioning and may occur along with physical dependence as in drug addiction where the drug or substance on which someone is dependent is suddenly removed it will cause withdrawal I believe food does that sometimes too a characteristic set of signs and symptoms addiction is generally associated with increased drug tolerance in physiological terms addiction is not necessarily associated with substance abuse since this form of addiction can result from using medication as prescribed by a doctor. Physical dependence is different from psychological dependence or addiction, and the latter is often characterized by a compulsive need for a drug for physiological reasons. I'm sorry, for psychological reasons, <clears throat> which is part of what food is, but I believe that there is a, there is a physiological dependence on uh, some foods as well. While the former is characterized by the need for the drug due to tolerance and the need to prevent withdrawal symptoms on discontinuing the use of a drug, physical dependence, however, commonly occurs with both addiction and therapeutic use of drugs. And I'm going to add my own and food. However, the common usage of the term addiction <clears throat> has spread to include psychological dependence. In this context, the term is used in drug addiction and substance abuse programs, but also refers to behaviors that are not generally recognized by the medical community as problems of addiction, such as compulsive overeating. Why the medical community does not want to include compulsive overeating as a psychological dependence, I don't know. Um, or a substance abuse problem, I don't know. Probably because it's difficult to delimit between <clears throat> the appropriate intake of food and the excessive, but it's really not that difficult. Appropriate is food to live. Inappropriate is living for food. You know, we, we, we can really break it down that simply. If we were only eating to sustain, to sustain ourselves, we would not overeat. <clears throat> The term addiction is also sometimes applied to compulsions that are not substance related, such as gambling, computer addiction. In these kinds of common usages, the term addiction is just used to describe a recurring compulsion by an individual to engage in some specific activity despite harmful consequences as deemed by the user himself to his or her individual's health, mental state, or social life. Now, those of us who are suffering from food addiction or misuse of food or overeating of food or obsession with food or whatever you want to label it, we can overcome. It's very important that we begin to identify why we eat um, that's a journey that I think you guys know I've been on <clears throat> for quite some time if we eat to satisfy a physical need for nourishment and once that need is met we're done we've overcome 
when we utilize food outside of the nature of which it was intended to excess we have a problem I have a problem I find myself wanting food when there is something else going on that I cannot control usually there's always something going on that we can't control right that's just the way the world is <clears throat> but for me when when my, and I'll use a perfect example when my husband gets sick when he calls me and he tells me that he's sick and I'm getting my things ready to go get him and take him to the hospital I always get food it's like okay I gotta get I gotta get my car keys my pocketbook my my you know my shoes on and some food and hmm I think I thought about that but I never really all the way thought about it so I'm not so sure why that is um, I know that you know like some people say we use food for comfort we use you know uh, I don't know that it provides comfort I think for me it provides something to do um, but like Sushi Cat New York said if it was just or there was maybe somebody in her comments or whatever if it was just to provide me something to do I'd grab a bag of carrots y'all know I ain't grabbing no bag of carrots you know cause I could eat carrots ad infinitum just eat them eat them eat them eat them eat them it will give me something to do occupy my time while I'm waiting for my husband <clears throat> But not so. I have phone call now. Hello? Hello? Anyway, I'm going to think about this some more and make a video that I can edit because this is a quick capture so I'm going to call back and I'll come back on later. Bye. Keep walking on the water.